So Ollie, your first year using FieldView this year, um, once you connected it, when did you first start seeing the data? So we saw the data live from the combine operator seat, uh, which corroborated with the yield meter and combine, but then we really got the value evaluating the trial. So as the combine was leaving the field, we already had the, the analysis of, of that trial, which is you know, almost real time for us. Brilliant. And you said you used it to evaluate a trial. How would you normally go about evaluating the trial for your field view? So normally we would uh, either take the yield map out to our current farm management software and try and you know, interpret it there, uh, or we would try and go over waybridges with different sizes and different lengths of cut and try and sort of estimate it that way. But it was quite hard to get a really accurate answer. And what would you say is the advantage of having real-time access to the data? I think the real advantage this year for us was we didn't have to mess around with the combine. We didn't have to stop and start, empty the tanks, disappear off the waybridges. We just cut the field in a normal way. And the data was just being gathered, fed back live and, and processed live. Uh, so it just it, it enabled the trial to be a lot less of a burden than, than they have been in the past. And Henry, maybe one for you. Um, what's Fieldview offered over and above other your mapping systems? So one thing in particular is um, the way we have been doing it, getting the data from the machine onto our software, we've quite often had data lost, whereas FieldView has really helped us um, be confident to be able to gather the data and put it on our software accurately, and it's been a lifesaver. So it's kind of offering a backup in a way that... And yeah, absolutely. We did um, some uh, uh, some trials where we had um, a new variety of wheat up on, on the lightland on the heath. We had skyscraper in the, in the field, it was after oats. We put um, a, a, a patch of C1 cranium, another variety in the middle of this patch. And um, and that was, and then on the on the field view, it was really interesting to see, and you can even see it now. Once the minute you load that app up, the cranium yielded a ton and a half a hectare better than the skyscraper. And you go onto field view and look at the screen, and you can see this lovely, lovely different coloured area right in the middle of the screen that is this different variety. We've grown skyscraper um, three or four years. I've never truly been that enamoured with it. We always grow two or three other varieties as well and Skyscraper was meant to be the new kid on the block but yet yeah, Shabras which is meant to be a dirty feed variety not meant to be uh, yielding very well nearly as always outperforms Skyscraper. So I think whether and that's whether it's on our heavy clay soils here or the light soils. So what actually caused that um, sort of uh, that those results I don't really know. So as a result of that Again, this is where it's so valuable. As a result of that now, we've stopped growing skyscraper and we've got cranium, a good lot of cranium in the ground. Fieldview helps with the trials program in that you can instantly see in a matter of seconds what is, is, is good, what results you get are good. But when we do a trial, for me years ago, it was always a question of how do we get the data? If we do something, how can we map it? And yes, you might have yield mapping on the combine, but it's not as good as, as field view. So now we've got a system that instantly you can see and you know that when you do a trial, you've got the data because it's on the cloud, it's on the system, and you can go onto it at any point. So you're never going to lose it and the information is there instantly. Accessing the field view data is just a touch of a button, switch on the iPad, go into the into the menu and it's there instantly. And this is what I like about it. You can uh, print a report off, email a report to somebody else and, and it's that access to it that is at your fingertips that is just so good. So having split screens on your computer or on your iPad is, is really powerful and interesting because visually you cannot beat having colours and seeing something. And if you can split a screen and have a field on one side and then another treatment on another side in the same field splitting your screen and comparing them on the same same platform is, is really easy and very very good we have changed a few things as a result of, of uh, field view one is, is seed um, swapping um, to cranium and ditching skyscraper we've also a few years ago I think maybe it was the first year we tried tried um, field view um, when we used some turpal which is a late growth regulator and um, we tried uh, an area in the field at some different rates and I remember seeing that that the, the difference in the yield was really marked because where we didn't use the the turpal and where we had very very low rates the crop was flat or leaning whereas when we use higher rates it was stood up and actually having that information and seeing the difference there on the screen in, in lines down the field was really powerful there's no doubt yeah field view allows you to make much quicker decisions because it's there instantly you don't have to go through 
reams of information, lots of different menus. You know where you want to be, you know what you want to, uh, what part of the menu you click on, and the minute you click on, it just comes up. And the parameters you can set, the yield parameters, and the colours you can put in, um, just make it so easy. Uh, we did some uh, trial work, looking at um, farm trials, looking at uh, missing out a T0 uh, and a T1. Um, and just looking to see what differences there were and we used, used field view to, uh, to evaluate the, the results at the end of the season. Most of the way through it didn't actually look like there was any differences and it looked really good and then towards the end of the season it just it crept in didn't it like pretty quick. Yeah even up to, uh, even up to T2 you could visually you couldn't pick out any differences in the field um, but that was obviously every, every year's different but as it came to harvest and, and when we got the uh, harvest results um, you could see the big differences and it was showing that basically using the programs we were using as a farm standards gave the best results on, on the field which is nice to know that you're doing something right on your farm. I think our cultivation trials we, we've been looking at going forward is, is, is the bigger picture of obviously uh, costs are increasing as far as fuel and machinery and, and all the fixed costs are increasing. So. Um, it's our look to see what we can do um, slightly differently from what we're doing now. So uh, we've, we've always been a, a farm which we have a certain amount of plough based uh, systems on the farm and we're trying to look to see whether we can reduce or even uh, eliminate ploughing at all on our farm. Um, some of it by the use of cover crops in, in the winter for, for spring cropping uh, and also um, with our, some of our systems we have on the farm uh, such as my John Deere, we can look at fuel costings, machinery costings, work rates and then we can uh, we take that all the way through to yield and uh, with the use of field view we can evaluate the, the detail very very easily which gives us the results going forward on, on a farm, farm based system. So with field view, uh, with regards to our trial work, our cultivation trial work and indeed all of our farm based trials we're doing on, on the farm uh, it gives us a, a, a real quick way of evaluating the, the work we're carrying out and the trials we're carrying out um, as regards to yield and uh, gross margins and return at the end of the day. Um, there's, there's nothing out there as far as I'm aware at the moment which, which gives us such a quick turnaround of data and, and ease of data input into the system uh, to give us a, the results in a, in, a, in a timely manner. I find with the, the polygon tool where you can put your polygon over your trial plot and every time you want to go back just to see if anything's changed throughout the year you can just click on it on your certain um, database that you want to see and then yeah that's literally the simplest thing for me is it takes 10 seconds to create a polygon where I need it and then I've got all the data I need. We have a slide on one of our um, monitor farm meetings where when we first imported all of our John Deere data into field view it was processing however many it was a hundred or two hundred thousand files and it's just it's crazy to think that that's how much data we have and we, it needs to be compacted in and sorted out into the most simplest form and that field view does do that for us really yeah so the integration between my John Deere the John Deere terminals um, and field view is 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 fairly seamless um, it's it's simple for ourselves being John Deere users that we can all of the data goes straight from the terminals in the in the tractors and the sprayers and the combines and it goes directly up to the cloud in uh, my John Deere which we can easily import into Fieldview uh, without, uh, without any stress at all. We demonstrated this year we did a, a full field 100 acre field scale trial on wheat and 70 acres on uh, rape of variable rate nitrogen just using the um, biomass maps that we get through Fieldview. Um, we demonstrated we can save uh, tons of fertiliser and at the moment that's thousands of pounds just by putting the fertiliser at an appropriate rate. I'm not cutting the fertiliser back but putting what we've got where we need it and reducing it where we don't. Yeah, the variable rate, it's, 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 every, with a lot of things on farming, it's all an ongoing trial uh, and we get a clean canvas once a year. I think, I think with everything, with, with all these variable rates, what I'm hoping to get is a uniform crop. This thing here is a data harlot. You plug it, you can plug this into anything. Doesn't matter what colour it is, it likes John Deere's, it likes Schaefer's, it likes New Holland. And once that's in the system, and it's really simple to put in, uh, it will harvest the data out of that machine, 
and get it into into the field view platform via an iPad. And that, that's yeah. So I've got I've got three different colours of machine there, but I've got the data coming into one platform. It's just it's something that I was always sceptical of of how how much use this would be. And now I'm using it, I wouldn't be without it. This is where having data from your own farm and doing your own trials is so much better than going on another person's farm. Now I might, you know, I'm very lucky here and the contacts and the associations I have and the network of, of companies like yourselves that we've built up, that I, but I, I really do um, emphasise how valuable that is and, and having the information here and being taught and talking to companies who are at the top of the game and that to me is just hugely beneficial. There's quite a group of us using it now, uh, listen to them and how they use it. Um, if you want a simple way of getting into data ma data harvesting and data management, FieldView is it. Um, it's simpler than a lot of other systems I've seen and it will integrate with other systems.